More than 4,300 students took part in a nationwide cybersecurity competition, the highest turnout yet, a sign of growing interest among youths in emerging defence technologies. Organised by the Defence Science and Technology Agency, the event is part of a broader push to groom potential talent and strengthen Singapore's national security. Eugene Chow has more. This isn't an ordinary toy crane. It's a test to see if students can hack its systems. That's what the 300 over finalists in this hall are doing. I've learned how a uh, attacker thinks and what are some of the ways that he might use to actually exploit certain ways. So, since every time that I've joined this brain hack itself, I've learned new techniques, new ways that I can use to solve challenges. Ravin says the competition has helped him learn from other students, and that motivates him to do better each time. Since 2019, BrainHack has given youths the chance to try out real-world defence problems that Singapore faces. And it's not just play. For many, it's helped spark careers, with some ultimately taking up roles that safeguard the country's digital borders. When I entered in DSTA, I was able to grab AI drone detection more easily because I've touched on similar experience in brain hack, which accelerated my learning curve. At the awards ceremony, Senior Minister of State for Defence Zaki Mohammad says countries globally are increasing their defence spending and Singapore must stay ahead of the game. For a small nation like Singapore, these global developments are instructive. We think they are quite obvious what we need to do. We must be vigilant, agile and forward-thinking. We must similarly invest in developing talent in, de in defence technology. We need bold thinkers and skilled engineers who can harness emerging technologies for national defence. 19 teams emerged as winners in this year's Brain Hack competition and it's hoped that these young minds will shape the future of Singapore's digital defence with one line of code at a time.